Hi there, welcome back to DSR Ghostwriting on YouTube, on LinkedIn, and also on Facebook. My name is Daniel Rosal. I'm a writer, freelance writer, freelance marketer, and marketing consultant uh, based here in Jerusalem. Um, another uh, common question that I get asked from prospective clients um, and that I wanted to cover in a video is, well, how much time do you think that we need to dedicate to a thought leadership marketing campaign. Now, if you're not sure exactly what is thought leadership and what are the differences between thought leadership and content marketing, then please feel free to check out. I have a couple of videos on that topic and I've also written a couple of pieces, uh, including one for uh, entrepreneur.com. So check out that piece uh, if you'd like a breakdown on that. Um, regarding how much time to give to thought leadership. So um, I've been talking a lot about recently the mindset needed to succeed in content marketing and inbound marketing, particularly for organizations that are more used to outbound marketing and they're used to approaching their marketing from a uh, quick ROI perspective. So when you're doing something like outbound marketing, whether that's PPC or uh, you know whether you're uh, cold emailing or cold, cold contacting people on LinkedIn, you expect fairly quick return on investment. That's unfortunately not how it works with inbound and content marketing. So you can look at it as a downside. The downside is that you're going to have to put a lot of effort in up front. And I think uh, you know when, when we're talking about KPIs in the business world, people commonly talk about the differences between leading and lagging indicators. When we're looking at inbound marketing and content marketing, your effort is a leading indicator. Firstly, you need to go and create the content. Then it needs to get distributed uh, through your marketing channels, through your social feeds, uh, you know, through search engines to be discoverable. And only then will you start seeing results. And unlike outbound marketing, which is going to have typically pretty quick diminishing returns um, in, in terms of you know, people getting that uh, disruptive communication and less people go getting that as time goes on, the opposite applies for inbound marketing. So you're gonna be getting increasing returns uh, as all those factors start to work in your favor. So uh, that's, a very, that's kind of a long way of answering the question to say that you need to give it time and uh, I do worry that when I tell prospective clients this, it sounds like a sales pitch to engage me for uh, for the long term. It's not coming from that perspective. This is also the same perspective I bring to my own efforts from inbound marketing. So I would say give it one to two business quarters. If you just do thought leadership marketing for one month, you're unlikely to see your results. Uh, the beauty about public relations and uh, authority marketing is that your results tend to build upon your results. So if you guess a great uh, podcast uh, opportunity and follow that up with a good blog post, uh, and that might increase your chances of getting published in another publication. So in order to really uh, leverage it to its maximum potential, you need to come into it with that long-term uh, mindset. Uh, the final point I would make is that I've referred many, many times in my writings about thought leadership to the Edelman LinkedIn B2B thought leadership impact study and one of the findings that Edelman and LinkedIn came back with uh, was that organizations that have been doing thought leadership over the long term develop more supportive internal cultures that enable the success of that thought leadership. To break that down what that means is that when these companies commit to thought leadership and start to see results from thought leadership and get people behind thought leadership, those companies tend to be more successful with it uh, than uh, you know, a company that just views it as a flash in the pan, puts in a small bit of effort, and then gives up too quickly. So the answer is that there is no hard and fast answer to exactly how much time you should be dedicating to thought leadership, but you have to go into thought leadership in the same manner you have to go into content marketing and inbound marketing, viewing it as a long-term strategy. You're gonna be getting those results if you commit to it for a while. Personally, I recommend one to two business quarters. Uh, that allows enough time to formulate a proper thought leadership content marketing calendar uh, to get some good collateral together and to just measure and see is that working in the market or not. Hope that video uh, was of interest uh, to some people. And if you are interested in learning more about thought leadership marketing, inbound marketing, content marketing, then please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, you can also follow, get the DSR Ghostwriting newsletter uh, from dsrghostwriting.com, LinkedIn company page, Facebook, many channels uh, through which to get information about thought leadership and marketing uh, until the next time.